sound, we just see everything we believe. We just see Welcome back. We're gonna get started with moisturizer. I'm using the Lumiere de V Rejuvenation Cream. It's a pretty heavy moisturizer, but I have super dry skin, so I love it. And this is by Motives Cosmetics, if you didn't know. Next, we're going on to brows using the Foolproof Brow Powder by Benefit, using the light shade in the beginning with a Tarte brow brush. Blending that out and then using the darker shade for the rest of the brow. This is a really nice way to get a natural brow without it looking too dark. And I love the 3D Brow Tones by Benefit too. I think this is in shade 3 as well. Just to kind of give a little bit of dimension there. I'm going to be concealing the brow with Tarte Shape Tape in medium because I can't find my Maybelline Fit Me. I don't know where the heck it went. I will just have to just do some serious searching for it because I love it. But I'm going to blend that out with a brush love brush. And then finally, we're using the Naked Heat palette. I know it took me a very long time to come out with this tutorial. Sorry guys. Just using a Sigma Bake Brush to blend out the painterly. And then we're moving on to eyeshadow. Using sauce, I'm using E40 by Sigma. And just blending it into the crease. This is going to be our transition color. So blend that out. And then we're gonna use He Devil. I'm using E25 from Sigma and I'm just blending it on the outer V, focusing it mostly on the outer V but bringing it a little bit into the crease. And just make sure that you are continuously blending with that big fluffy brush, just to make sure everything is seamless. Next, I'm going in with En Fuego and I'm putting it on the outer V as well, kind of patting it. And I actually do this technique with this blending brush too besides a regular flat shader because it does help to put the color where I want it and then I'll eventually blend it out with a big fluffy brush or with the brush that I used and I'm putting aims on the outer V as well see I'm patting it just to get a little extra pigment on the outer V and then I will blend it out but what a beautiful palette I'm actually obsessed this might be my new favorite naked one as always blending that with the big fluffy and then we're gonna use ember and the brush that it came with and I'm putting it on first by itself with not wetting it just wanted to see how the pigment is and it's great but I always like to wet my metallics so I wet the brush with the Urban Decay setting spray and then I'm just putting that on there staying in the center lid then I'm going to go with Scorched with an E58. Again, I started without a wet brush, but then I just decided to go in with a wet brush because the pigment, I mean, look at it. It's just so much better. And I like that you can kind of create a little bit of a cut there, especially with this brush, this E58. It kind of gets into that space without it being messy. Using the E21, I'm using Dirty Talk, which is an interesting fiery red-orange metallic. I decided to put that in the inner corner just to kind of like spice it up a little bit. I wanted to use as many colors in the palette as I could, because what's the point of not doing that? Mm -hmm. Using the Tarte liner, the Tartus cream liner, I'm using an E16 brush with this from Sigma as well. And just doing a basic wing. I love this liner. I forgot how much I loved it, but I'm falling in love again. I don't know why I always go back to it like when the fall comes. It's so weird, but that is usually what happens. So we're just going to wing that out, and then I'm going to use the Tarte Tardis Mascara as always because I can't get enough of it. I'm just putting that all over Lay's lashes. Mm. For lashes, I'm using Gigi Bell Lashes in Bougie. These are 15% off right now, you guys, so if you would like to get a pair, I would definitely suggest you get one now because they are almost gone. So I'm gonna just put those on with the Huda Beauty glue, which is an amazing glue if you have not tried it yet. I really suggest it. I wanted to give you a closer look of the lash. I just have to cut it a little bit and then I do my little slide technique 
with the glue and just pop those babies on. The tweezer I'm using is by Sigma, if you are wondering, because I always use the tweezer. This is just the fluffiest lash ever. To get rid of some bags underneath my eyes, I'm using the Dr. Brandt No More Baggage. And I'm putting that underneath the eyes. I've had bags lately. I think I'm just not sleeping as much, so that's a problem. But anyways, I'm using the Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. I don't know if it's new or not, but I love it. It's a little sensitive for me in the beginning, like it burns a tad. But then my skin just is fine, so I'm not worried. I'm using the new 40 HD brush by Sigma. This is an amazing new brush, I have to say, because it is literally a pyramid and gets in every single little crease of your face. And I love Sigma and their, and their super inventive ideas about new brushes. They've created so many brushes that I've just fell in love with and I've never seen before. And I really appreciate that. And obviously this is a little bit tanner than my actual skin tone, which is fine. My body is more tanner than my face, obviously, because I wash and exfoliate, me, exfoliate my face all the time. Um, but I had to mix two colors. I'm using Fawn and Bamboo, just to kind of even everything out. But I'm not too worried because I do eventually even everything out with the Tarte Shape Tape. So I know some guys were flipping out about my, like one of my past videos on Instagram because my foundation looked a little yellow. But, um, I mean, I don't really care. It happens, you know? Anyways, to move on to the serious concealer box that I have here from Tarte, I'm using Shape Tape, and I think I was using Light Medium Honey, I believe. And I'm just putting this all over, giving dimension to my face. I decided to use this color. I usually use Medium, and I just wanted something a little bit more brightening, and I want to see, you know, all the colors that they do have in the new shades so I tried this one and I actually really really like it and I like how it is still yellow toned but doesn't look gray under the eyes or anything and it gives a great dimension to my face so I'm just going to blend that out with my Tarte Quickie Blending Sponge the OG one I need to get more 3D HD blenders but they are sold out right now so I'm just waiting for them to be back in stock but I really do like the way this blended out and it helped the foundation a lot because, you know, it was a little bit dark, you know. It happens, it happens. They sent me shades, you know, I didn't pick them out myself and I just, you know, go with the flow. I love the coverage, I love the feeling of the foundation, I just gotta mix it a little bit and that's okay. I ain't worried. Now after blending that out, I'm using the Pink Haze Setting Powder. This is a like micro blur blurring powder by Becca. I'm not sure if it's new. I think it is. It's beautiful, but I don't think it's right for my skin tone because it has that pink tint. So I think on paler skin tones with a little bit more of a red tone in the skin, I think it'll look beautiful. On more olive type skin, I don't think it will look that great. Maybe if they created like a yellow toned one or something like that, it would look really pretty, but I decided to put the Kat Von D locket over it just to kind of neutralize it a little bit because the under eyes looks a little pink. It actually would look pretty like maybe like on the cheek area as like a little bit of a setting powder and then you add like blush over it. That looked really nice, but on the under eye I wasn't too crazy about it. Now using He Devil. I am putting it under the lash line with an E20 from Sigma. And then I'm going to go with Ames and Enfuego and smoke the lash line out as well. This is my favorite part to do. Now I'm just blending everything out with the Kabuki brush from Tarte. And then I'm just going to put some more mascara on those lower lashes. For contour, we are using the KKW Beauty Contour Kit, and it is amazing, guys. Literally, sorry, I had that voice, but it's literally amazing. I am so obsessed with the formula, how soft it looks on the skin, how blendable it is, and I love the brush. Like, actually, actually love both sides of the brush. I was using both of them the whole time. I really like the rounder side better because it's not a usual brush that I use for contouring, so... It was very interesting and it 
kind of felt really good in the angles of my face but it's just so so nice and I'm so excited because I purchased this myself and I'm just so excited that I wasn't disappointed like I was with the uh, contour sticks so this was just super super beautiful and I'm just so excited that I found a new contour kit because I lost my Kat Von D shade and shade and light one don't know where it went think my sister stole it probably did but whatever what are you gonna do now I'm going to highlight and look how beautiful this is you can get an easy like natural glow from within highlight and then you can get a bomb ass crazy highlight that people can see you from 10 miles away and it just is beautiful I'm using the M501 brush from Morphe to put it on and then I'm putting it on the inner corner a little bit to kind of just brighten up that area and then I'm using it on the brow bone as well and it just oh pops it's a beautiful combination that yellow tone and that pink tone is beautiful to set my skin I'm using the Tatcha Dewy Mist Spray so pretty and then I realized I forgot to use blush so I'm using Captivating by Tarte with an F10 by Sigma and just putting that on the apples up to the ear and then we're moving on to lips I'm using Max Spice lip pencil and if you guys see some bruises on my lip I did get my lips filled a little bit to kind of even out the top so I want to be transparent with you guys I did touch them a little bit um, I don't know if I'm gonna go any bigger I actually really like the way it looked I just wanted to not have to overline them so crazy much but you know just want to be honest with you guys anyways for lipstick, I'm using the Nikki's Nude from MAC. This is their new collection. Oh my lord. This made me obsessed with MAC lipsticks again. Like, this felt so beautifully creamy, and it just, oh, looked so beautiful on her nudes that she came out with. Oh, guys, they're insane. There's such a crazy shade range of nudes, which I love. So it got me excited about MAC again, which was exciting. So I haven't been excited about them in a while. But that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below what you want to see next because I am interested in your thoughts. Let me know what you think of the look below. And give me some Halloween ideas. All right? I love you guys so much. Bye.